Hey everyone, Joe's over here, and I am back with more Fallout 3. So where we last left off, we um we got our one bobblehead that we can get, the strength strength bobblehead, and we defused the Megaton bomb, got our own house. So we're almost kind of done with Megaton. There's one more thing that we can kind of do to initiate another set of quests, which is actually a very helpful thing to do. It's actually a huge XP booster and helps us explore a little bit more. Actually, there's two more things. So, there's a way to fix these leaky pipes, and we're going to go over up to... It's somewhere up here. Oh, there it's Lucas Sims' house. But, um, yeah, uh, yeah, here we go, water processing plant. Two things I've been doing here. Talk to him, I'm gonna save. Because this is actually a way of earning caps. Um, huh? Yeah, what is it? Uh, well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. Yeah, I could definitely fix that for you. How many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I'll keep that in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Well, back to work. <laughs> so, by right, helping them fix these pipes, it'll um, initiate a special type of trading sequence. And that will be very, very helpful in the long run. So, there should be another guy around here at night. We'll talk to him then. So three leaky pipes, and they're actually all pretty easy to fix. And you do have to have a certain repair skill level in order to at least attempt to fix them. I'm not sure, I think it's 25. 30. So that is where where it is. Repair plus five. Yeah, nope, still not high enough. Okay. So we'll have to come back to it later. Let me level up again. Put that on. So let's head over to more side crater. Or, yeah, the crater supply. Oh, there was. Pipe number two over there. Not sure if I can see the third one from around here. Okay, crater supply before they close up. So I revamp my my buttons around. I'm not just in the wrong ones. So this is Mora. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply, but what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the Wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a Vault Dweller. Help me out, would you? So, this is a, another huge side quest that we can do. This one does take quite a while, but it's actually very helpful because we do gain additional uh, side effect perks, and they're actually pretty helpful. So, let us start this as soon as possible. So, sure, I got plenty of time in my life. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life 
or or to come outside for the first time or whatever strikes your fancy uh, the outside place is amazing in the main room i can't even see the ceiling uh so you can count a wider but uh well we haven't really started the main well, runaway yet. dad huh i've seen plenty of them before but none with the big 101 on their back good luck finding him Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. So this is a way of getting early caps, caps and uh, some early experience as well. And it's actually all easy stuff. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. So, uh, um, he's kind of annoying, but <laughs> now what can you do? Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? So, two of these are actually super easy to get to, so let's do the radiation one. That'll be a quickie. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so we gotta get a good amount of radiation for this. Not too bad. Oh, you're a peach. Or... At least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Okay. So she also sells stuff. But we'll talk to her on that one a little bit later. Good luck with that so just a fair warning it's best to do the optional as well just so that way you can gain more of the experience and gain additional effects effects from completing that quest as well you don't have to but you're going to miss out on a lot so for the radiation part just head to the bomb Come stand in the water and just start drinking from it glorious atom because you get 20 rads for just drinking it there's actually I think a sweet I spot around here. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, I already messed with the bomb, so. I beg of you. So getting 20 rads. This vessels. does take quite a while. Guide me to your brilliance. Divide each particle and give relief. There we go. To so I gotta hold down the A button. Radiation. You know how radiation poison. Visit a doctor or take right away to lower radiation radiation level. You can also protect yourself. Ahead of, your, ahead of time by taking rad X, which increased your radiation resistance. So rad poison is a really bad thing because it, it messes with um, how you walk or not really walk, but able to maneuver and do everything. Atom, come, bestow your presence on your unworthy servant. We stay true until the day of division, until the dawn of your return to his humble world. Behold, he is coming just... with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. All right, now we're at 600, so let's talk to Mora and complete this part of the book. I, I, if my memory serves me right, I think there's three chapters. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> <laughs> About the radiation. 
as I can go without burning a hole in the floor. So you want to be honest with her as best as possible. I can tell you're positively glowing. Now, just <coughs> hold on and try not to move. <coughs> tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Okay. So, if I listen closely, I can hear my jeans crying. Um, just do the examination and fix me up, please. So, you're experiencing delusions, too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Are you kidding me? Right, regeneration perk added. Moore's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now, when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. So, I mean, it's not that useful, but it's nice just to have, to say that I have it. Don't take too long. The sooner the book's done, the more people we can save with it. I didn't mean to select that option, option so. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? So let's do the, um, how to scavenge for food, because it's actually pretty Well, close. food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll go check out the Super Duper Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, Good to see that old house finally found an owner. I have all sorts of items and themes for that place that may interest you. Uh, let's talk about... Things. Some people don't like living in a boring old house. Purchase a theme from me, and I use all of my design abilities to set your place up in the manner you request. You can choose from the Vault, Raider, Wasteland Explorer, Science, Love Machine, or pre-war themes. Uh, let's see, let's go with... Let's go with the Vault. Feeling a bit homesick, are we? Remember... Once you buy a theme, you can't sell it back to me. Although you could always purchase a new one. Sounds good for me. Uh, let's make another theme. Well then, let's make a deal. So, here's her shops as well. You can sell to her, and as you can see, she has a total of 224 caps. So, let's... Yeah, just take a quick look so she sells missile launcher. Stuff that we don't actually want. Apparel, I don't care about some of this apparel, we'll get that later. Aid, stem packs are always important to have. Miscellaneous, I never worry about miscellaneous, but this is stuff for our house. And as you can see, they cost quite a few caps, so this is going to be a while before we um, are able to buy it. But ammo is going to be something that we're definitely going to be buying off of her. So, Alright, uh, I have to go now. Good. Um, she can also repair your stuff. So you have a bit more of repair, repair completely done. Not sure how you want to put that, but, uh, um, yeah. So, that's said and done. Oops. Let's head over to Quest Wasteland. So, okay. So, we're going to head over to the Super Duper Mart and complete that side of the quest. I would do landfill, like the land, the landmine stuff. See. It's actually cool. um, quite a ways off, and it'll take more time to head over there than um, doing this one. So I'm trying to do the easy ones first, get them done and out of the way. 
Plus the land, the landmark one's actually kind of annoying. All right, we got quite a hike to go. It's not too too far. This is our chance of getting, hopefully, some uh, early weapons, good weapons, and possibly some attire, attire to have some clothing or armor, whatever you want to call it. Which did give me something. Uh, where it is? There it is. So let's just take a look. Yep. Okay. Shot up the head. There we go. Haha, <laughs> it's bloody. So yeah, um, the thing about Fallout 3 is this is like a really, really big game. There's like a lot of places to navigate to. And it kind of gets easy to get distracted by that hollow arrow that you see right on my, my pit boy map. On my little compass there. Those hollow arrows means that those are locations that I haven't discovered yet. And it's super easy to get distracted by it. Because then it's like me. I'm one of those ones that, oh, look, a location I haven't discovered. I'm going to go find it. And it's easy to get, um, it's easy to veer off the track when you're trying to do something. I'll try not to let it happen, but if it happens, it happens. Plus, by discovering locations, you do get XP, so there's a plus side to it. Oh, that's XP. XP. criterion by which to determine whether a Republican government is practicable in a nation or not. We're going to try to take as much as we can, just that way we can sell it and start earning some hard caps that way. Also, I'm going to try to make these videos a little bit long, because this is, like I said, a really long game, and I don't think 15 minutes to 20 minutes is really going to cut it, so I'll probably make them like half hour to 45 minutes. If that's a big issue, then I'll I'll just go back to like the 25 minute marker. But let's just see how how it turns out. So I'm gonna save in here, just because this kind of gets a little crazy in here. So the Raider stuff. Let's. to repair I think it's X. No, oh, I don't want to put it on. Oh, it's Y. So by repairing stuff, you increase the value of it. Good stuff. More money. That's another good source of caps. Yeah, there's a raider up there I just saw. I don't want to engage quite yet. Find some stuff first before uh, doing anything reckless. There is actually quite a few in here. Nice pistol, dirty water, energy cell. Ah. Let's 
gonna give me energy cells right off the bat. Cool. Impact, yoink. Drink water, ew. That's a module. Lock, uh, metal box. Hockey mask. Uh, tree says unarmed by five, no thanks. One writer so far. Supposed to be like four in here. Now there's one another one over there. So let's get the one that's closest to us. And I don't want them all gaining up on me. Oh, he saw me. Now I'm hitting again. Oh, that other raider up there didn't see me. Oh, she's on arm. That actually kind of sucked. And her voices again. Shot her leg off. I need pistol. Eh, I can sell that for caps. Two more. That guy has a shotgun, I think. Critical strike right on the head. Oh, he's got one right. Ouch. Oh, yeah. So the key object, basically, is just to play it smart and just don't go guns in rushing quite yet. Because I'm pretty sure if I did that and had them all triggered, then... Um, <laughs> I, I'd be in serious trouble with my health. But we did that without any issues. Doink. Got a pre war book. Oh. The car. Definitely need that. Not in rifle. Heck yes. 32 pistol. You got. Assembly. Here's your head. Oh, I broke one. There we go. So, oh, yeah, I need 50. So, I got a new gun. I actually want. I'm going on. Heck yes. So, this is hacking. Um, I actually want to save first before hacking this. 
because we can't get locked out if I play it smart. But there are a couple ways to, to um, figure out, look, well, they'll delete, you know, fake not, um, passwords. So as you can see, two arrows, one's facing one way and one's facing the other way. I look for key or uh, key symbols like that to um, like remove duds. But as you can see, like you know, nothing here like that. Let's first find out where our, our keys are at. I think that was the only one. Let's try the library. So one out of seven is correct. Receiving three out of seven. It's gotta be. No, oh, okay. So if you don't, yeah, to prevent yourself from getting locked out, that happens. Just back out. Done removed. Got another one. Allowance replenished. Dang it. So that pretty much means that it resets your tries. So that's kind of a waste. That removes. That removes. A couple more. That removes. That removes. The higher sciences, the um, oh, there we go. The higher your science is, the uh, easier the passwords get. Disengage lock. There's a robot in there. Darts? That's ammo. With a belt. Got metal, take that. Killed all your people. So, trying to do this a little bit quick. Like, module. Conductor. Not sure if I need a leather belt. Pilot light. Getting up there and wait. Alright. I keep forgetting I'm gonna save for these type of stuff because I hate hacking in this game. Uh, zero out of five, so that was take. feeling that the K is or the K is not in place so uh it's either I think it's an O. Yep, there we go. Oh, I see some really good stuff over here. Loading personality. Quantum. Rob Dog. R04. V9. Quantum Helper. Running. Default office protocol. Now I'm over in Air or. Loading daily agenda. Air or. Air or. Security free. So being over cumber pretty much puts us at a state where we cannot move as fast. As you can see, I'm moving super slow. Right away, man taps.
There we go. Sure, I didn't forget anything else in here. Oh, no, cool. One boxes. Guns and explosives. Over encumbered. There we go. For now. <laughs> In the bathroom. Nothing. Oh. Okay. Nope. Uh, okay. garbage can. Not bad, not bad. Oink. I can't jump. Oh, yeah, that's that 
Raider I killed. Huh. Uh, I picked up too much. Well, I still got too much on me. That is all that we can do in here. Double checking. Yeah, yep, we got everything in here. So let us head back to crater side. Oh, so this is our map. As you can see, yeah, whole area is our area of location that we can go to for remote landing, perfect city, make a ton, uh, independent tower, oh, Springdale. So let's go over to Megaton. Hey, look at that, we're almost at level four. Good stuff. Okay, so right now it's nighttime and crater side is actually closed. So we're gonna head to the house, sleep for a set amount of hours. Crater side opens up and we should be able to get a buff from just sleeping as well. How many hours? Let's see, it's two, so say ten hours. There we go. You are no longer well rested. Bullshit. You mean to tell me 10 hours is not long enough sleep? You are not well rested. Well, game, make up your mind. Oh, there's the other pipe that's broken. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Uh, you can lie to her, but it'll affect the outcome of, of what you'll get later on. So it wasn't easy, but I got food and the medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Not just the Raiders were using the pharmacy as a place to store their best gear. Found raiders and a robot, and I hardly, hardly um, had a safe place to scavenge. Whoa, really? Raiders and robots? I guess I wasn't the only one to think about checking those stores. Looks like you gotta be careful looting them. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Tastes kinda great after a while. Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink, um, more, um, better. All right, let's finish up this Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? All right, so this place is actually kind of annoying in many, many ways. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. 
I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. All right, so now we got Minefield added to the map. So, just to show you how the um, buying and trading works, so let's just, I'll, I'll show you how. Do don't worry Oops. about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Okay, um... Let me see what you have for sale. What do you need? So if we go over to our, our side and change it up a bit, oh, uh, I'm gonna sell this one. I don't really like the revolvers. The assault rifle kind of sucks. All cap mines are actually worth a lot. So as you can see, I already hit the threshold limit, but we're gonna keep going. Chinese pistol. Gonna keep a couple of the all that stuff, but we're gonna get rid of that laser pistol. Mm, H plus five. We're gonna get rid of that kind of, this kind of stuff. We're gonna keep that though. So you don't want to finish out since now that we are hitting the negatives with her. So if, as you can see, I just bottled those stim packs and that's what she'll owe us for all that. Um, I want to see if there's any more ammo, 32s. I think I need one of, uh, I need a, no, I don't need 32s. So, okay, um, I'm just going to accept it. So there we go. Good hunting. So that's how you basically uh, buy and trade. So, um, oops. yeah. Um, it's not just because they say. All right. So I wanna. There. So I'm gonna stop it right here, and then when we get back, we're gonna continue on with more, uh, more Fallout Three. So thank you guys for watching and. See you guys later.